triple drug combination in drug naive uh, india is uh, got uh, you know a dubious distinction in having the second highest number of patients uh, with diabetes and uh, it's uh, you know the most important thing is as per icmr in dive study only 68% of the patients achieve target less than 7% so we need to have uh, agents uh, and we have to be very aggressive in managing these people so early combination treatment is very important as per ada 2023 and aace 2023 guidelines again more than 7.5% a1c at baseline we need two medications and once it is more than 9% at baseline a triple drug combination is the choice uh, if patient has uh, constitutional features like weight loss and symptomatic hyperglycemia then uh, insulin is the choice otherwise uh, we can always give triple drug combination Uh, among uh, triple drug combination we have met- metformin sulfonylurea vaglibos combination we have uh, uh, metformin uh, sulfonylurea and pioglitazone but the problem with these combinations is that you know sulfonylureas uh, they can lead to hypoglycemia vaglibos again we have to give multiple times of the day and pioglitazone again can't be given in uh, nyha class 3 uh, 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 onward as as well as uh, in uh, you know ladies who are post menopausal Uh, because of the risk of osteoporosis so the best combination as triple drug is always uh, metformin uh, aglt2 inhibitor and dpp4 inhibitor which uh, you know is an ideal combination uh, because uh, uh, dpp4 and aglt2 combination lead to cardio reno protective effect weight loss mostly uh, it is uh, fat weight loss as well as there is you know uh, other uh, beneficial in fact in the terms of decrease in systolic blood pressure so the best triple drug combination in a patient who is drug naive coming for the first time having a1c more than 9% does not have features of insulin deficiency triple drug combination with metformin aglt2 inhibitor and dpp4 is the choice thank you